Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Horton and I am with Accelerate Marketing. Today it is an honor that I get to interview Les from Preventive Fire and we are going to discuss what a marine engine room fire suppression system is. So Les, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay Crystal, thanks for asking. Uh, marine fire suppression system is a uh, system that's installed in, in an engine room on a large yacht, usually 40 feet and up. And it can be CO2, FM200, uh, FE241, hal it used to be halon. So there's like all these different gases, but the fire suppression system, when there's a fire, it goes off and, and puts clean gas inside of that compartment. And, and the engine shut down, the generator shut down, the boiler shut down, the alarm goes off. And that gas stays in that compartment and keeps the fire, puts the fire out and keeps the fire put out until you can get Coast Guard there, evacuate the vessel, determine what the fire source is. So it, it puts out a, a fire on your yacht when you're in the middle of the Atlantic, which is very important. <laughs> that's the answer. That's what, that's what a marine fire suppression system is. I mean, I could go into more depth, but that's what it is. Yeah, that sounds pretty important. And, and what are some, like, so what are some of the issues associated with them? Well, a lot of times we go there and they're in, they're installed uh, in a, a wrong, they're or they're not working, or a part of the system is not functioning, or mechanics have come in and disconnected things that need to be working, like engine shutdowns, generator shutdowns, dampeners. Dampeners are uh, like folder, they're uh, like levers on the side of the engine room that close and, and keep the air from coming in and out of the house. So those, a lot of those things get disconnected electrically when engine mechanics, diesel mechanics, people are uh, uh, working inside there and they don't reattach them. So we find these problems when we do our inspections. Uh, a lot of times cylinders are not the right size uh, for the room. The, the bow builder puts a thousand cubic foot cylinder in, a thousand cubic feet of gas. The engine room is cubic feet. You fill it with cubic feet of gas. Well, we measure it and it's 1200 cubic feet. So the, the boat builder put in a thousand cubic feet coverage, but the, co the, the size is actually 1200. And we let the owners know that uh, they need a larger cylinder or it's not gonna work. <laughs> you know, you need to have the right size for the right amount of gas to put out the fire. Wow. So those are, I mean, I could go on. There's a zillion things that we run into, but we're there to inspect the system and make sure that everything works properly because one, one failure in a chain uh, causes the next failure and the next failure. And before you know it, uh, your boat is burning and, and you're sinking and it's bad. Yeah. yeah Especially when bad. you're in the middle of the Atlantic, right? Or wherever. Yeah. The shore is not anywhere near. So how long um, does it typically take for an inspection? Okay, well, we come out and we do an inspection. It's usually two to three hours it takes to do a full inspection. Uh, we weigh the cylinders, we test the system. There's lots of different systems and they work a lot of different ways. But when we come in, we fully function test that system. We weigh the cylinders, we make sure there's a the right amount of gas. Um, that all the electrical components shut down. The manual pull works because most systems have a manual pull. That all the audible alarms work, overrides. Like uh, a system when it goes off, you can, you can if there is no uh, actual fire, override that system. So you can restart the engine, restart the generators, restart the blowers, and get back to shore. So there's overrides, but first you need to make sure there isn't a fire before you put it in override. So we check all every bit of the system and we do a full report. We give you a full page report. And if there's any deficiencies or problems, we make notations. So that's, wow. what, that's what we do. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So if, we, if an individual has more questions or they would like to schedule um, a time to, for an inspection, how would we get in contact with you? Uh, they could reach out to uh, customer service at preventivefire.com or 561-863-9900. Thank you, Les. All right, no problem. You have a great day. Thanks, Russell.